Hi everyone, Connie from The Painter Photographer here. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe and give me a like for my video. And I hope you'll come back. I'm honored to be a part of the Jamie Ray Vintage Makers collaboration. And I can't wait for you to see everybody's videos that they did for you. Everyone's worked so hard. So go on over, give them a like, give them a subscribe. I sell my DIY paint and IOD products at thepaintedphotographer.com and I also have my vintage and homemade items at thepaintedphotographerhomedecor.com. I hope you go on over there and follow. All the links will be in the description below. I painted this table in DIY weathered wood and then I put a coat of liquid patina on top so that when I put the other paint on it wouldn't go through this layer. Then I went into letterpress gray and brushed it on right over top of the liquid patina. While the paint was wet, I used beadboard and applied it right on top of the wet letterpress gray to give that kind of blended look with a little bit darker than white and lighter than letterpress gray. You don't have to get good coverage because when you distress is where the character comes into place. I'll show you again on this center leg. This is letterpress gray and I'm applying it with the sampler DIY brush, which is my favorite. If you don't have it, you should. And I put letterpress gray all over the legs. And then I went on with the beadboard. This is where the details in the leg on this table are going to stand out a lot because of using the lighter color and having the darker color underneath. I wanted the bottom part of the legs to be darker, so I went back to the weathered wood used my spray mister bottle and added just weathered wood to the bottom to make those legs a little bit darker. Now it's time to distress. I use a wet baby wipe and just take off that layer of paint and you are going to go back down to the weathered wood which you put the liquid patina on there so it's not going to go past the weathered wood. So you're gonna get that nice gray look coming through and all the details are going to pop on this table. The good part about DIY paint and being able to distress with a baby wipe is when you have a spindle. Because if you had to use a sander, you get more of a square look to your sanding, but using a baby wipe, your hand can go around the spindle. I'm going to show you how I did the top of the table at the end. The tops of tables are just a little bit different. You want to make sure that you go across as straight as you can so that it doesn't look all wonky on you. And I went in with my letterpress gray and then my beadboard and my 
sampler brush was excellent at keeping those lines straight across and I used my mister bottle and I misted the top and then I took the baby wipe and I went just straight across like giving it the look of barn board and then really pulling it off on the edges to bring back that weathered wood look. Then after it's totally dried, I seal it up with Big Top, my favorite part, because the colors just pop. And I also, when you use a baby wipe, you're gonna get a little lint on your item. So make sure that you brush it all off, get that lint off before you apply the Big Top. Otherwise you'll have chunks in your Big Top from the baby wipe. But this is the fun part. And look at those details. Aren't they awesome? The top is the same thing. Use the big top. It's very durable. It's all natural. It goes on. You don't notice your brush strokes. You can go either way and uh, it just is a very tough clear coat that I love to use. I like to take the 220 grit sandpaper, fold it in half, and sand the top of my table. It gets out all of those bumps and makes it nice and silky smooth, soft, and then I'll go back over it with another coat of Big Top. I hope you enjoyed my video and you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also, if you want any DIY paint, you can go to thepaintedphotographer.com and order and it'll ship right to your door. If you're local, I sell my products at Foreman's Farm Home in Metford, Wisconsin. Thank you for watching. Happy painting.